forecast was rain today. Don't see anything yet. It was actually supposed to rain tomorrow too. I hope not. This walking app seemed to be converting the steps today too. For now at least. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be messed up for the whole day. Actually tonight I'm going to start converting some of these duck videos into a 4K version. Because there was a lady that was really interested in sharing it with her friends and stuff like that. She saw that one video of the baby ducks trying to jump into the the lake. You guys remember that one? She's like, I want to share that. It's the best video I've ever seen. So I thought, okay, for the Canada Day, I try to convert that. I think I know what I'm going to try in the early morning, the Canada Day. So I'll probably sleep a little early today, hopefully. Get everything done. Oh, that was a gust of wind all of a sudden. Very random. Actually, it reminds me of a story I read. I know Toys R Us in the US, they were going bankrupt or something like that, but apparently the Canadian divisions, they were doing very well. So it says here, Toys R Us Canada wants you to know it's alive and well and ready for its makeover. So apparently with the new buyer, it's now 100% Canadian owned. And yeah, like it implies, they're, I guess they're gonna go on some kind of marketing campaign just to show people, hey, we're alive, come here. As well with the rebranding, makes me wonder how they're gonna rebrand it. I guess that's good anyways, to have the business like that basically afloat. And speaking of business stuff, this one just makes me wonder, what are people thinking? This one says, neighbors who call police on a 12 year old mowing lawn increases his business, customer says. So as the story goes, apparently this is a kid who mows people's lawns just as a side thing, just to make some extra money. And he's been doing pretty well, and he went to a person's property to cut the grass, but apparently he accidentally cut it, I guess, the wrong part of like the grass they cut it into the other neighbor's grass and they got upset over that and because of that they phoned the police on the kid apparently according to this anyways apparently those neighbor people they called the police on things even with kids throwing like snowballs and stuff like that too just to show you i guess how over the top it is in terms of what they would phone the authorities for but i guess a good thing about this is ever since this was published i mean someone posted a facebook post about this and ever since then the kid got like a lot more business that would make sense because a lot of people they read is like what's going on it's basically discouraging a kid from doing that so everyone wants to let in their support but just for that it's just it's just so ridiculous how people can abuse things like the authority and all that it just makes you think of all the crazy people in a sense where they're i think in many ways is kind of abusing the the spirit of phoning like 911 asking the police for help and stuff like that like this is not an emergency or a deadly case. It's just, I don't know, it just feels like it's a bunch of people just trying to push their weight. I mean, it's an accident, okay? You can say like, at worst, compensate me somehow, at worst, but to call the police, that's ridiculous on a kid. sounds here. I think that's a nest. A little bright spot there. Oh, that is zipped by. Okay, just reading some of the public comments, but the app looks like it is messed up today for whatever reason. So I guess maybe it won't convert, maybe it will by the end of the night, but we'll see, you guys will see anyways on the screenshot.
Alright, see you guys later.